Genesis GV60, everything we know so far, release date 2020 to price, from $55,000 power, a WD, a WD battery range, around 300 miles 0 to 60 miles per hour, for 0 0.0 second smarts, wireless charging, facial recognition, fingerprint reader, side mirror cameras. Genesis, the luxury arm off high and die, plans to introduce the all-electric Genesis GV60 into the marketplace sometime during 2022 as part of bulking out its growing product portfolio. Loosely billed as a crossover SUV, the EV boasts striking looks on the outside and promises plenty of luxury on the inside too. In much the same way as Lexus offers a high-end step up from the regular Toyota brand, Genesis does a nice line in premium, especially when it comes to interiors, and the GV60 looks to be no exception. Of course, Genesis is already a well-established premium auto brand in the US with a promising portfolio of quality models including the G70, G80, electrified G80 and G90. It's also got a couple of slick SUVs in the shape of the GV70 and GV80. Meanwhile, the release of the Genesis GV60 could see it offering appeal to a whole new audience, by mixing that luxury edge with EV credentials, Genesis says that it's targeting a spring 2020 to launch for the GV60, though it hasn't revealed any more specific launch details just yet. There are no confirmed pricing details either. However, looking at the pricing of the KIA EV6, which is set to cost in the region of $55,000 in the US it's likely to be upwards of that given the premium appeal of the brand. The Genesis GV60 will be built using the same electric global modular platform, or eGMP platform, as the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and soon to arrive Kia EV6. Each of the three models will be powered by the same 77.3 kWh battery pack, and we're looking at a maximum range of somewhere around 300 miles. No doubt the AWD model will have the best range, since AWD models always require a little more power. We can also expect figures to dip depending on whether there will be GV60 configurations with larger wheels. As for charging, Genesis claims that the GV60 will be able to accept up to 350 kW DC charging speeds. Provided you can find one of those chargers, which are still pretty rare, you'll be able to charge from 10% to 80% in just 18 minutes. We are not quite at gas station level convenience right now, but we're inching closer all the time. The GV60 can also accept up to 11 kW AC current, which is a lot slower but more suitable for home-based and other low-key charges when time isn't an issue. We don't know exactly how long this will take right now. Early on, Genesis kept the GV60's performance specs pretty close to the chest, but now we're getting closer to launch some of the figures have been revealed, including how much raw power is available from the three models that will be available. The all-wheel drive performance model will pack in dual 160kW motors, offering 320kW in total, which works out at around 429 horsepower. However, if you opt to use the GV60, S boost mode, the car can add an extra 20 kilowatts to each motor meaning they can offer 180 kilowatts or 241 horsepower, maximum to 350 Nm to each motor in this mode. The rear wheel drive standard edition offers 168 kilowatts in a single motor of 225 horsepower, while the all wheel drive standard model has 7 for kilowatts at the front and 160 kilowatts of power at the rear. Those models have 350 Nm and 605 Nm of respective maximum torque. In terms of actual speed, you can expect a maximum speed of 146 miles per hour and a 062 miles per hour time of around 4 seconds. One of the obvious benefits of buying a Genesis GV60 will be its premium feel. On the outside the all-electric model has plenty of neat features, albeit incorporated into a design that might generate mixed reactions. According to the Genesis, the GV60's design focus is based on athletic elegance, with two lines quad lamps, and a funky crest grille giving it a look that's certainly unique. There's a clamshell hood too, which means that the hood and fenders are all part of the same panel, and this keeps the line simple but effective. The seamless design thinking continues with digital door mirrors, meaning less clutter along the sides of the car. Around the back it's a similarly slick and smooth arrangement, with more subtle flourishes including to line rear lamps and a fixed wing spoiler. The press shots you see here indicate plenty to get excited about on the interior front however, with unsurprisingly a strong whiff of the interior design features that adorn the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6. Being a Genesis though means you can expect much more sumptuous seating, plenty of bling on the design front and, naturally, infotainment that ticks all the right boxes. Interestingly, one of the key features on that front is the so-called crystal sphere, which allows you to select a drive mode as well as advising on driving conditions. The tech angle is boosted by two displays, one housing the main instrument cluster in front of the steering wheel supplemented by a central infotainment panel. Meanwhile, 
Screens at each end of the dash are displays for the digital door mirrors. With premium appeal being a big part of the deal with the Genesis brand, it's also reasonable to expect a decent amount of interior space. This is obviously going to be helped thanks to the flat floor provided by the GMP platform and its underfloor battery pack. Genesis is also expected to add both facial and fingerprint recognition in the car, allowing the driver to start the vehicle without a key, though how this will be incorporated remains to be seen, and whether it will provide extra security against unwanted use. Rumors circulating on the web suggest that the Genesis GV60 may also feature a wireless charging system as part of the specification. The thought of being able to charge your Genesis GV60 at home without the hassle of plugging in could be a very tempting selling point, although presumably features like this will also ramp up the price point. Reaction to the Genesis GV60 looks to be mixed so far, with those quirky exterior looks failing to fire up enthusiasm from some of the more critical areas of the motoring press. However, there's no doubting that the Genesis GV60 will come with all of those luxury fixtures and fittings that you expect from a luxury car maker. It may also be the model that will help the brand broaden its appeal in Europe. However, the Genesis GV60 might find itself doing battle with its own close relatives, given the enthusiasm being shown towards both the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and the Kia EV6. Nevertheless, once specifications and pricing are confirmed, the GV60 might find its own niche with buyers, who want that extra touch of refinement when they purchase their first fully electric car. Genesis, the luxury arm of Hyundai, plans to introduce the all-electric Genesis GV60 into the marketplace sometime during 2022, as part of bulking out its growing product portfolio. Loosely billed as a crossover SUV, the EV boasts striking looks on the outside and promises plenty of luxury on the inside too. In much the same way as Lexus offers a high-end step up from the regular Toyota brand, Genesis does a nice line in premium, especially when it comes to interiors, as recently witnessed with its new ice-powered G80 and GV80.